To balance this equation, C5H6O plus O2, this combustion reaction, let's count the atoms up on each side. Let's be careful with the oxygens, because we have five carbons and six hydrogens, then one oxygen plus these two here. Don't forget about those two oxygens there. Product side, one carbon, two hydrogens, and two oxygens. And we have an oxygen out here in the water, so count that as well. It's usually best to leave the oxygens till last. Let's just start with the carbon. Put a five in front of the CO2, one times five, that equals five. So they're balanced, but the five goes to everything here. So we need to update the oxygen atoms. So we have two times five, that's 10, plus the one oxygen there in the water. So we have 11. Let's just fix the hydrogens. We could put a three in front of the water. So we have two times three, that would give us six hydrogen atoms. Again, we've got to update our oxygens though. Two times five is 10 plus the one times three, that equals 13. So we've kind of got a bit of a problem here. We have 13 and two, everything else is balanced. The way to think about this is one plus some number would equal 13. So if I put a six here, six times two is 12. One plus 12, that would equal 13. So we have one oxygen plus this two times six is 12. That equals 13 and we're done. This equation is balanced. So two keys here. One, leave the oxygens to last when you're balancing these combustion reactions. And then when you get to that last oxygen, you need to think about how this oxygen and these oxygens add up to give you this number here. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C5H6O plus O2. Thanks for watching.